So, lockdown three is upon us. But even before lockdown three was enforced, I was becoming increasingly aware of the uh, level of scrutiny and criticism that was being practiced, not just by uh, the legitimate media outlets, but also on things like social media. Now, I know it's always been a pastime of many to, to look around and to scrutinise the lives of others and to find fault wherever possible. And with all of these different tier restrictions and lockdowns and things that we have faced over these last uh, few months, well, that's just given people more reason and more cause to uh, be these fault finders, to be these critics of others. It, it just fuels this desire that many have. There is so much to scrutinise and there is so much that we can criticise as well if we wish to. Our face masks been worn properly. Did those two people who were out exercising together really maintain two metres distance? Should that shop still be open? Was that really a necessary journey that they went on? So-and-so has bubbled with another household which has two adults in it. You know, as we think of all these different things and all these other criticisms that, that could be levelled at those around us, well, I'm reminded of an incident in the life of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is in the temple teaching when he's disturbed. The scribes and the Pharisees uh, interrupt him and, and drag this woman before him. She's been caught in the very act of adultery, they claim. And they want to know what Jesus thinks should be done to her. How does he respond? What does he say? Well, he says, John 8 verse 7, He who is without sin amongst you, let him throw a stone at her first. Then he looks down. When he looks up again a few moments later, the scribes and those Pharisees who brought that woman before him, they've gone. They've disappeared. They've melted away. No one has picked up a stone to throw at her in punishment for her crime. Why is that? Why is that? Well, it's because the Lord Jesus Christ has found them out. They were trying to trap him. But actually, they'd made a massive mistake themselves. The law called for both the man and the woman to be punished if they were caught in the very act of adultery. Yet the man is nowhere to be found in this scene. They have just brought the woman to him. Either that was the trap that they were laying, or for some reason, these scribes and these Pharisees, who were men, were only interested in punishing the woman. Either way, Jesus is saying, don't ask me about the rules when you're breaking them. And don't judge this woman when you're just as bad. If we're honest with ourselves, we have probably, I imagine, all of us stretched and broken the government guidelines over these past months. Mostly, I hope that's been inadvertently. Perhaps you've made a mistake because the guidelines are changing and are quite often complex and don't always makes sense. But we've all stretched or broken the guidelines. It's easy though, isn't it, to look at others and to criticise them. It's human nature to be critical of those around us. But actually, let him who is without sin amongst you throw the first stone. It's easy to be like those scribes and those Pharisees. But for us as Christians, that's not how we should behave. We're to look at our own lives. We're to look at our own hearts. And we're to repent of the sin that we see there. In lockdown three, there will be all kinds of opportunities for you to look at others. For you to find fault with what others are doing. You might be tempted to compare our response as a church to this lockdown to the response of other churches and either criticise them or criticise us. You might be tempted to look at your brothers and sisters in Christ and see how they're behaving and how they're acting during this lockdown and find fault with them for the ways that they fall short in your opinion. And the same goes for your friends your family, your colleagues, your employer, 
even the people who you see passing on the street outside of your window. If you look, you will always find something that you can criticise other people for. So don't look for those things. Don't look for those things. He who is without sin amongst you, let him throw a stone at her first, said the Lord Jesus Christ. What we should be looking for is things in one another that we can thank and praise God for. The marks of grace that we see in one another. Let's look for those and let's encourage one another by uh, building one another up in the faith, not seeking to tear one another down. Amen.